The Killip classification is a system used to predict and stratify the risk of mortality in the patients who had an acute myocardial infarction. There are four classes in Killip classification, class 1, 2, 3 and 4. The patients with lower Killip class are less likely to die within the first 30 days post myocardial infarction. However, when the class is higher, their mortality is higher too. Killip class 1 includes individuals with no clinical signs of heart failure and no signs of lung crepts. Their 30-day mortality rate is around 6%. In Killip class 2, the patients have mild to moderate heart failure. That means they will have symptoms and signs of heart failure such as S3 gallop rhythm, lung rails and jugular venous distension. Pulmonary crepts will be present in half of the lungs and systolic blood pressure will remain above 90 mm per mercury. Their 30-day mortality rate is around 17%. If the patient has crepitations in all of their lungs, they are categorized into Killip class 3. Systolic blood pressure in these patients are still remaining above 90 mm per mercury and their mortality rate is around 38%. Finally, in the Killip class 4, the patients are in cardiogenic shock, so they will have clinical features due to hypotension and peripheral vasoconstriction. 30-day mortality rate in these patients are around 81% and that is the highest. To summarize, in class 1, there is no heart failure. In class 2, there is mild to moderate heart failure. In class 3, there is heart failure with frank pulmonary edema. In class 4, there is cardiogenic shock. So by looking at the Killip classification, it quantifies the severity of heart failure and predicts 30-day mortality in the patients who had an acute myocardial infarction. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you did, please hit the like button and comment your ideas. And subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.